六四。毎日ゴルフにパーティーに近頃はテニスも始めて何か忘れてるようなそうだ冒険だ Alright, so I got my、uh, this is my personal N64 here I've got the motherboard out and I'm、uh, was contemplating doing an RGB mod but I really don't、uh, given my setup I, I just don't think it's, it's, it's that worth it if I had a nice、um, a nice CRT with a、uh, Component or RGB input, I would、uh, I, I maybe go for it, but、um, basically, for the CRT I have, the when I plug it into that, the S video looks good enough for me, and、uh, when I plug it in, my、uh, TV has a decent upscaler, so when I plug in the composite to that on my main like flat screen HD, it uh, uh, again it, it looks it looks pretty good as far as、uh, an old old console on a modern display it goes. It's、uh, I don't see getting that much benefit from,、uh, and for this particular board revision, I have to do the difficult mod. It's not just the simple one you connect to the AV out and solder a few points. It's the it's the complex one with. Again, I've done it before on on one of these fun、uh, yeah, fantastic consoles. You know, I, I did uh, uh, E Tim's board, which was. I think that's that's probably the, the most difficult one, basically, and you know, as I said, it's for me. Uh, that that customer did have a PVM, and、uh, I will admit the RGB looked pretty crisp on there.、Um, but for me and my setup, I, I just don't see spending, you know, whatever it is, sixty bucks on the kit, and then a hundred dollars on the cables, and for for what, you know what I mean?、Uh, and I I think that 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 mod on this board revision eliminates composite video too, which again is just not really something I want. So.、Um, So what I'm what I'm going to do though is is recap it and the power supply which I had here on the desk but is now somewhere else.、Uh, but I have、uh, got the kit from Console Five to、um, I got a, a few N64 cap kits just to keep in in stock and then、uh, yeah put one one in here and one in the power supply and、uh, um, just again this one wasn't giving me any problems or anything it's just、um, feels like it's about time to do it you know see that. 1999 there on the board. That's、uh, you know, 24 years ago now. So it's probably you know probably could go another another five, ten maybe you know. But、uh, I'd rather do it preemptively on on this one. That's my main、uh, my daily driver, if you will. So、um, and yeah, after that, I've already cleaned up the board with some isopropyl and removed the cartridge connector. So yeah, let's get after it. I'll get some footage of this. All right. So we have a cap kit. This covers all the revisions, so I'm not sure if there's extra capacitors in here or something.、Uh, certainly, kind of looks like it. And we got power supply cap kit right here. Nice through hole, through hole caps.、So、we'll do that afterwards. And of course, as always, console five is always, you know, they're sweethearts because they send you an atomic fireball as well. Yeah,、um, not much of a candy person myself, but、uh, to each their own. So, anyway, see,、so yeah, I'll get started on this. I'll probably do them、uh, one at a time or in groups. Like I might do all the、uh, these sixty-eight microfarad ones. That is indeed the rating, I believe. So yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven of those.、Um, yeah, I don't really see. Let's check the. See if the tweezers are going to be useful this time. I don't know. They might could be for sure.
Okay, that's all the uh, 68s off of there. Clean up a couple of these pads. Oh yeah, that's real hot still. So I'm definitely gonna just go ahead and do these uh, these 333s here as well at the same time. And uh, this this revision, which I'm assuming is a pretty late one, I think there was, I do recall seeing some that were stamped with 2000 if I'm not mistaken. So it may not be the very last revision, but looking at the, the cap kit and what's included, um, there's definitely this this revision they removed you know they, they definitely reduced the number of capacitors by quite a bit so the rgb mod is more difficult if you want to do it but the recap is uh considerably easier uh, you know so half as half as many caps um i don't think this ha has like caps for like the disk drive or anything like that so i'm, I'm uh i'm pretty sure that uh that, yeah, there's just a, a lot less fewer, there's a lot fewer caps on the later board revision, so uh, not sure if that would influence a purchase or something like that on, on you buying an older console or a newer console, there's an older one, but it might, it's the kind of thing that might, uh, if I had a choice, like knowing that I'm going to have to recap it at some point, I might might go for that if I didn't care about the RGB mod modability and cared more just about longevity of the original console in its original form then maybe get a later revision because there's no reason no reason not to fewer caps is easier maintenance let's get back at this probably won't put too much of it in the uh in the video uh the finished video but I had a good, I was definitely struggling for a little bit there. This, this soldering station is, is janky in general. And these tweezers are, are kind of not the most compact, you know? Um, and they're, they're helpful for some things, but there's other things where it's, uh, you just pretty much have to use the regular tip anyways. And then, uh, um, anyways, I was, I was definitely struggling for a little bit there trying to figure, uh, Kind of re regain the technique and and try to work with my kind of kind of shitty equipment here. So um, it'd be nice, it'd be luxury uh, to buy a station 
that I can just rely on the temperature control on, you know, set it, set it and know it's going to be there and not, <laughs> not have it supposedly be at a temperature and then wonder how the heck I'm going to, why the heck it's not melting solder, you know, very frustrating. Let's see if we can. All right, that does that. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, show a little bit of the struggle there because I got it. Once it's once you got the technique down with those tweezers, they really are the the bee's knees for desoldering stuff. There's just certain certain areas with the, that particular design, at least you just can't you can't get too close to like plastic components or uh, sometimes like you'll be making contact with with a chip or something you don't like you know just but for most for most things most capacitors most places it's a uh, um it's a great tool
めっちゃめちゃにしてめっちゃめちゃに壊す燃える余るのめり込むやればやるほど面白い Alright, so the power supply was really a pain in the ass to get apart.、Um, some of them I've seen、uh, on YouTube videos or whatever、um, where they just come right apart easily, and I think they have, I don't know, they must have some kind of different padding in here. But you can see there's some kind of like foam adhesive tape here, something super sticky on this side. And the adhesive didn't fail, it actually just tore the tape in half. It sits, it sits down right here on top of that,、uh, what I assume is the transformer, the main transformer kind of. Um, yeah, so you see, it didn't, the glue didn't separate from either side. I had, uh, uh, because it was so difficult, and again, I don't, uh, I was fairly confident that it was stuck to something solid, and, and it is. You know, you could pull pretty much as, you know, as long as you're gripping the circuit board where you're not going to crack it, then you can pull pretty much as hard as you want on that. But that's about where it is, and I feel like if you started with heat, And just about everything you felt you could put on it with a blow dryer or hot air gun or whatever,、um, hot air attachment. I think that would be,、uh, that, that might work. So it's going to be right about there, right about where the logo is. That's not going to, you know, it should be the same for, at least for this revision. There is multiple revisions of this power supply. So maybe that's the, that's the difference. With some of them are、uh, just by their design or whatever, they might have the, Tape in a different place or something. Who knows? Yeah, this is the、uh, Zebra power supply, if I'm not mistaken. That's what it says, anyways.、Hmm. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three. And I have seven in this one.、Eh. Might have got sent the wrong cap kit. That is a possibility.、Um, I'm going to obviously check into that before I do anything. Yeah, well,、uh, sure enough, I did,、uh, I did in fact get roasted. by、uh, This is the first screw up console five is made out of, I don't know, many orders. So I'm.、Uh, It's whatever. Someone fat fingered it, or they were out and decided to send me something instead of nothing, I guess.、Um, not sure why that would be a good option, but whatever. I sent them a message, and hopefully they'll,、uh, they'll just be sending out the correct one as soon as possible.、Um, but I figured I've done, as far as I'm concerned, I've done the hard part by prying the stupid thing out of there. So、um, these through hole caps, there's, like I said, there's only.、Uh, Six of them. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll do that later. I'll put, I'll put it back together for now so I, can, so I can play some 64. Check it out, make sure I didn't screw anything up in the recap there. I don't think so. Everything looks solid. So,、um, yeah, that'll be to be continued for now. Alright, so the last project on the bench here has been only semi successful, so that's been a bit frustrating.、Uh, the Sega Game Gear. Probably, who knows when that'll get posted. I imagine this will get posted first, because the N64 recapping is mostly done, and this is, would be the last part of that process. Would have had it done sooner, but I got sent the wrong cap kit, so that's resolved now. I got the correct one. No issues there. As I said, console 5 is、uh, the first mistake they've made for me in, in years, so certainly not upset with them or anything. Just a simple mistake. Isolated incident.、Um, anywho, yeah, this is free now, but、um, this, this part. Sometimes I've seen some people just pull them apart and they're no problem. So I don't know if this, this tape isn't on all of them, but you can see between there and there.、Um, it took quite a bit of force to separate that, actually. It felt like I was,、uh, you know, like many other things, feel like you're almost breaking it to get it apart. But、um, yeah, anyways, so、uh, this is a nice, easy,、uh, all through hole capacitors. I got a total of 
seven to replace. So this should go pretty quickly. And we got the mains cord soldered on there, so I can't unplug that or anything. So I'll just kind of bundle it up over here to the side. This plug isn't polarized, right? Yeah. There's no way for that to be polarized in it. And I'm going to go ahead and desolder the power cable. Because why not? It's just too easy, too easy joints. see make sure power's on still with a good step hmm uh, wait a second yeah, sure that right. oh yeah I don't have that EV cable plugged in that'd do it Oh, I don't have controller plugged in, of course, but that does it. Disney Dance Dance Revolution. Alright, yeah, that wraps up the N64. So, 
nice to have this fully recapacitated and good to go for you know another 20 years or so survive providing the rest of the hardware survives that long so one down several to go got the gamecube and the n64 thus far so the recapacitoring mission continues thanks for watching Woo! That's a leg!